The city of Burlington is looking to either bring in someone to help run Burlington Telecom or sell it. The Burlington Telecom Advisory Board wants the community to weigh in on the criteria of the sale. A public meeting on Wednesday night aimed to solicit ideas. Board member Jane Nodell says most want to keep it locally owned. What the fear is that either now or at some point in the future that it could be bought up by a Comcast. And, and people really do not want that to happen. So whatever we do now has to, has to be something that prevents it from ever getting sold to a larger company. If an outside party buys it, Nodell says taxpayers are still out $17 million, money paid into the troubled provider since 2008. She says the buyer should ensure that money is repaid. Most who spoke out Wednesday say they want to see service expanded. South Burlington resident Rick Hubbard says he would switch to Burlington Telecom in a heartbeat if he could. I cannot get good, high quality internet only delivered to my home. Uh, Comcast only will offer internet as part of, a, part of a bundle with things that I don't necessarily want. Nodell says Burlington Telecom is vital in keeping big companies like Dealer.com in town. She says it's an important economic development tool and losing it would mean losing a lot of autonomy. It's a huge fiber. It moves data very quickly. And that is a competitive advantage that we have as a city. And we want to use that to encourage other businesses to get started here and to stay here. Now, if you weren't able to make it out tonight, there will be a link to an online survey on our website at WPTZ.com. Live in Burlington tonight, Rachel Carr's WPTZ News Channel 5.